So, I can't believe I did it. I honestly cannot believe I was ready to, to do it the way I did on my first Let's Play, I think. Uh, which was to hide for a, a little while until uh, very, very late. So I tried, I did a little bit of trial and error and save scumming. But you can, you can, you can uh, scum this mission, which is pretty good. Now, the way to do this, if you're having trouble, is you hide back here, crouching. You don't need to crouch, but you can just hide over here. No zombies will spawn for uh, three minutes and a half. And then you just get out of here. Not through here. Don't go through here. Uh, you just go up there, and the top gate might have some zombies. So you're just going to clear that gate back here, and then clear the top gate and go back and forth. And you're going to have basically the same mission, except condensed into a minute and a half, which is easier. Because you don't need to walk as much. Now, I think this is where we're supposed to go. This is where Tawny Sessions is buried. Definitely not spooky at all. Got a lot of these things. I wonder where... I got some bones over here. Some human bones. Just lying around. Right. No tape. Oh, we found the tape. Horror tape. A battered video cassette. The labeling is cheap and worn. You can barely make out Devil Spawn Flash Feast 1 on, and the logo, which looks somewhat like DMP. It appears l this tape has changed hands more than a few times. And it's actually printed. I don't remember seeing it printed like that. So I probably just didn't pay attention. So all that for a videotape of a girl that is going through terrible things that she shouldn't be going through. And that, that other guy, I was going to say got murdered for, but not necessarily. We don't really know what happened to him. We know his arm got left behind. Well, we figured it was his arm. We have rats. Uh, what criminal violation? Officer, I'm eating rats. There's no officer, by the way. I will criminal... I will do all the crims. Masquerade violation, that's bad news. Okay, well. Police, police shmelis. Ah, it's, it's not a problem. It's much better, it's much better to eat my rats than to worry about the masquerade. Ah, sweet, lovely rats. Anyway, what is the next stage? We need to go back to Isaac, of course we do. Let's, uh, let's go, let's go back to Isaac. Okay, I'm trying to get... I think this is the way. Police gave up. And, uh... Yeah, sure, we broke the masquerade, but, you know, it doesn't matter. We're never gonna be able to fix it, though. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we can. No, actually, this mission might be a masquerade violation waiting to happen. I wonder. I wonder. I never play around with masquerade too much. I usually just reload. Uh, not, not because... Not because I'm afraid, but because I want to have control. I have violated the masquerade enough on purpose before to make it uh, ha see what things happen over here. And it is pretty... Uh, whoo, whoo. Well, we might do that for fun later. Maybe sometime. You have quite a soundtrack in here, you know that? You made good time. Hand me the item. Uh, here. I didn't doubt you'd find this. And I apologize if I was overly imperious before... A reflex action. I get a lot of young blood in here for getting their place. I'll assist you as reasonably as I can with your task. But first... This tape. I'm in a hurry to find out what's behind all the hype, so get comfortable. I do have a feeling that whatever's here may be of use to both of us. Oh. 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 Help me, 
It's more disturbing than I was led to believe. You can understand my concern now, can't you? I love how campy it is. How they breathe at the end, at the logo at the end. It's super campy, and it's definitely on purpose. Because, like, yeah, they're they're dealing with the limitations of the engine and time limitations and whatnot. And also that cutscene has been fixed properly because it used to look way worse than that. Um, but I love I love how campy it is at the end. There, <laughs> it's just weird. It's like a group of teenagers tried to do that. Uh, that was sick. Why the hell did I need to see that? It just so happens that around the time this snuff film started circulating, the Nosferatu disappeared. I tried to elicit their help in tracking down the source, and for the first time in all these years, I was dismayed by their absence. So you think this tape has something to do with their disappearance? I assume it does. It's awfully coincidental otherwise. And those creatures. I don't know how many professional FX houses could pull those off. There's a problem, though, in that the film's incomplete. The first half is damaged. We need a complete copy. Uh, yeah, that was... Because that was the second part. Where do, where do we find a better copy? Behind the spit-shine gloss of the Hollywood Dream Factory, there's another city churning out a vile byproduct for the furtive consumption of a debauched audience. I have no doubt the film's found its way to another smut peddler. I'd ask around... Yeah, I've seen that place. Smart, huh? Well, all right, I'll, I'll go take a look. He doesn't seem to enjoy a good beat of smart. He, it's smart? I don't even know what smart is. Smart. If you don't know what smart is. Well, I didn't know what smart is until actually fairly recently. Not in the sense of not knowing what it... You know, what it... Ref I didn't know what the word was. I, I, I knew what smart was. I just didn't know the word for it. And when I played this game for the first few times... I certainly didn't know the word for it. And so I was like, what? A sm what? Why are you so upset at this person? What are they... What? What? Hmm? And so basically, he suggested you talk to the smut peddlers in Hollywood for a lead on its whereabouts. How did I ever figure that out? How did I ever... Well, I know how I figured it out. I just went everywhere, which is half the thing we need to do. So we've been to the ground zero there. We haven't been to the red spot. Which is definitely not the lucky shot or whatever that one was. The moon is out, everyone's in dreamland, and you everyone's in dreamland. Texas bygones. Not time. bygones, big Go ones. Hey dude, That's I'm gonna need to turn off your radio if you don't mind. And hey, why don't you? Because that is impossible. Area code. Thank you. Oh look at them! Selling I don't recognize a single one of these. I imagine that's one hundo, which is a thing I hear. I imagine that is the Milky Way, which is also a thing I hear. And, uh, greed, slums, pain and suffering, worm. That's the worst. Excuse me. Uh, you must be at least as high as this counter to buy alcohol, porn, and or cigarettes, bro. What? You, you don't like my stoop? Oh, uh, welcome to Red Spot, home of the Monstro face. I mean, <laughs> Monstro Chug. 72 ounces of your favorite beverage for 89. Dude, I'm sorry, but what is the deal with your mug? <laughs> this is the best reaction I've ever had. Because he's going through his thing, because he has to say the things. I get I get into a lot of fights with people who ask me about my face. <laughs> Let's go with that. That's lovely. Dude, sorry, bro. I did not mean to offend you, man. Totally my bad. You need something? Oh, that's well, it's very straightforward. Yeah, what's going on around here? Anything exciting or unusual? Always. You should come out and see my band, a bowl of cereal. We're playing tomorrow night at the crematorium. Five bucks, two drink men. We're gonna ruin the place. That's not too bad. Uh, listen, I'm looking for a tape. You mean like hardcore girl on girl on kangaroo action and stuff? Yeah, yeah, my man Flynn at the sin bin hooks me and my crew up for all the stuff they don't even allow on the internet, man. That's how you get there, to the sin bin. I, I think I might have looked at the billboard outside. Um, don't even allow on the internet. 2004? They would, uh, 
I, I'm thinking if video was a thing. It was a thing already. I think YouTube was already a thing in, in uh, 2004. I'm not really sure, though. Uh, actually, it's more of a horror snuff tape. Oh, that? Man, that's supposed to be some hardcore shit. I heard this one guy, like, died right after watching it. <laughs> he just died. Nowhere I could get a copy. Like I said, Flynn's a man. You should talk to him. My voice breaks every once in a while. I'm sorry. I said copy. <laughs> Uh, all right, yeah. Anything else I should know about? Yeah, the Vesuvius rocks. They don't let me in anymore, but damn, the girl's in there, dude. It's like midget smuggling ring in there. I'm not sure what that means. I'll go in there, though. Maybe I'll check it out. Uh, hey, you know, you should really ask me about the special, you know? No, but I have another question or two for you. Yeah, what is it? Uh, you hear anything new about the ser killer, serial killer something? Uh, this isn't going to turn out to be ironic, is it? You're not like a serial killer, are you? What's the special? I'm glad you asked that, bro. Seeing as how you look trustworthy or something, I got this special where you buy some really expensive burrito tots or grapple juice. You get a free weapon of your choice, bro. You interested? Wait, you're selling weapons out of a convenience store? Yo, keep it down. Shh. It's just my side gig, you know. New amps and lap dances don't pay for themselves, dude. New amps. Right. That's amplifiers for his guitar or his bass guitar or whatever. Uh, Because that's, I suppose, what he plays. Also, his shirt says Red Spot, so I was right. This is the Red Spot. Um, All right. Show me what you got. And uh, buy my things. Because I have a lot of crap that I don't need. Also, you have shirt. Oh! Do you see that? Do you see that? Oh, yes. Oh, to the yes. I need to sell you some crap over here. Oh, that's the diary. I uh, need melee at least of two. I am so bad at melee. At everything. So I could sell you my fire axe. Since I'm probably going to start you. I don't need it anymore. After after that mission, basically, you don't need to fire axe anymore. So we bought it for nothing. But we're getting a light leather. This is the heaviest armor that you can get. Uh, no, maybe not. Maybe there's another a heavier one later. This is a set of light leather clothing. Light leather clothing has an armor rating of 2, but hinders movement slightly, re resulting in a minus 1 to dexterity. Oh, that's actually kind of bad. Eh. Some examples of light leather clothing are leather jackets, leather shirts, sorry, skirts, and leather gloves and boots. I'll buy that. Now, it is a pain that it does reduce your dexterity, because you need it a lot, uh, but at least... What in the world? You get a haircut? No, you have a... You, you, get, a, you get that head thing. I'm not actually sure. Well, you, you got a shiny butt. That's one thing that you got. Is this going to help me? I think it's going to help me. I, it's very difficult to know. The problem with the dexterity, obviously, is that our sneaking and lockpicking goes down. So, we're probably not going to use it a whole lot while we, um... Thanks for that, babe. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're not going to use it a whole lot. If we need to sneak, which we probably are going to need to. Anyway, let's go to the sin bin before... Before anything else, and we can intersperse doing quests with visiting the other places. Like the Aspole, or the Vesuvius. Fast buck, not so much. Sinbin is over here. Which is also the way the peep show back there is also accessible through there. I'm trying to check if there's anything, anything bad going on back here. What's this door? Do you think they wanted that for something? Who knows? Well, the plus patch might know. The plus version of the unofficial patch, I should say. I'll make the clarification. So we have a bunch of mannequins. I wonder what kind of shop this is. I definitely don't know what smut is. We got music. Hey. I know your name, I think. I think I heard it. And, uh, Nisus. That's the, the thing. We got a lot of, uh... A lot of things, all right. I wonder how they, uh, how they made these. If they photographed everything, or if they collaged stuff. 
All we really, really need to do is get somebody's porn folder and just take the thumbnails. It's very simple to make things like this. You don't even need to curate. I got just general things. A few boxes back here. Dirty dog. Dirty dog. It's probably a password. We know it's a password. I don't need passwords. Hey. Oh, he looks... He, uh, his face in specific, but also his open chest. Not open chest, open. You know what I mean. Hey, you slick. He's not freaking out. Uh, hey, who are you? The name's Flynn. I'm the proprietor of this here establishment. Anything you want, you can get at the sin bin. Depraved ain't a four letter word here. You know what I'm talking about? I d d actually. Is he supposed... Because that last line, you're right, depraved is an eight-letter word, idiot, later. That last line is me supposed to be right, because it's a, 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 an end of a conversation. So I think he, he is coming across as an idiot. I think that's what... Because everywhere else, he's, he doesn't really come across as an idiot too much. Um, so I suppose that is the introduction to his character, and I just it, it didn't really j jive with me. Tell me about this place. The Sin Bin? Man, we've got filth of every flavor. Just tell me what makes your bits tingle, Jack. I'll set you right up. Yeah? Tell me uh, about some of your uh, products. Man, we got everything you'll ever need. Softcore, hardcore, gay, straight, farm, or furry. We got shockers, shivers, self-lubricators, and strap-ons. Chains, crops, and canes are in the back next to the triple ripples. Like I said, we got it all. I don't know what a shiver... Oh, shiver, as in... Like, you know, it gives you the shivers, I suppose. I I have no idea what that one is. Chain crops and other things. Sounds like it. Uh, I've got a few questions for you. Yeah? What do you want to know? Tell me a little about Hollywood. Hollywood? What do you want to know about it? Uh, tell me about some of the hot spots. Which ones? The Asian Theater. Let's start with the other side of town. The old Asian Theater? It's been closed for a while. Place gives me the freaking creeps. Seems like everyone's got a Hollywood ghost story, but you walk by that place and look at it, you'll swear something's looking back. Something might be looking back. Which ones? The Vesu No, the Aspole. It's further away. The Aspole? It's just across the street. Some uptight Hollywood club where the drinks cost too much and the girls put out too little. Which ain't bad for me. Most of the drunk, horny assholes come straight to my place after last call. That's one way of looking at it. Tell me, uh, what did the... Which ones? The Vesuvius. We got all you need right here, but if you like, uh, second-rate smut, head up the street to Vesuvius. One of the strippers actually owns the place. You should see the rack of lamb on that one. She's a dancer, actually? Uh, uh, well, my character wouldn't know. Uh, but she does make a point of making the distinction. Um, which might imply many other things, because the sexuality of vampires is also a thing, now that I think about it, because of the whole stripping part. Are you really a stripper if you... Well, I guess you are a stripper if you don't take your bottom off. You can you can strip the rest. You're still stripping, and generally the aspect of the stripping is more about the show that you put on. You can strip without technically stripping. It's still the same techniques and all that, just might not come to the same... I, I don't want to say the word conclusion, but anyway. Uh, some questions. Yeah? What do you want to know? You have... Oh, this is going to freak him out. You ever heard of Death Mask Productions? Those guys? Yeah. Yeah, I heard of them. Why do you want to know? Uh, well, I might be in the market for some of their products. Really? You a cop? Do I look like a 5 to you? Just trying to get at some information. All right. Listen, I'll tell you a little bit, but if anyone comes asking, you never heard it from me. They produce only the most hardcore video. I'm not even talking black market here, more like black hole market. Not the kind of product you want to get mixed up in. Yeah? What kind of stuff? The kind of stuff that gets you put in jail for just talking about it, all right? Snuff Films is just the tip of the iceberg. I only seen one of their videos, and I swear I couldn't eat for a week. Really? Is the stuff in their videos real? 
Real enough that every cop in five states has been trying to track these guys down. They are bad news, pal. You want some advice from me? Stop thinking whatever you're thinking and get your ass back to Kansas. I wonder if that line, get your ass back to Kansas, is, uh, is a reference to something. Well, listen, Flynn. Is that your name, Flynn? Okay, Flynn. I've got this crazy tape, and I need to find out if it's real. A tape? You mean the tape? You've got a copy of it? Have you seen it? Maybe. Look, man, get the hell out of here, all right? I don't want any part of that scene. I hear people seeing that tape ain't been coming home for dinner. I don't deal in that kind of stuff anyway, so just take it somewhere else. I, th I thought you said this place had everything. You must know something. Forget it, man. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Huh? What? Who are they? Seriously, get the hell out of here. Hmm. I don't have intimidation here. Fine. I could have intimidation if I wanted. Let's talk cash here, Flynn. Cash? Well, that changes things a little. But we're talking about some pretty hot info here. Underground stuff, you know. Like the kind of info that $500 might get you. I don't have that kind of green. Then I ain't got nothing else to say about it. Hmm. Yeah? Okay. Well, it seems like he needs a little bit of a workout, don't he? Don't he need a little bit of a workout, he does. Well, well, well. Flynn has got it coming. I have 20... Oof, oof, I have 20 experience points, my boy. You are about to get it. Well, so if I do that, or if I do this, I could almost do that again. Uh, but I can do this. There we go. Flynn, you better start talking. Or I'm going to snuff you, Flynn. Uh, okay. Look, all I know is that a guy calls on the payphone down the street every once in a while. He'll say something like, the moon is a terrible mistress or some creepy shit like that. Yeah? And then what? And then all you have to say is, who walks the night with demons of dread? Supposedly you'll be told where to meet the guy to pick up product. I don't know for sure. I, uh, I never tried it. It scared the shit out of me. Thanks for the info. Don't walk home alone tonight. Hey, wait. Look, you might as well know this. Word on the street is that they didn't even make the video. They're just distributing it. No one even knows where it comes from. I'm telling you, man. Whatever you're in, get out of it now. I wish I could, Flynn. But I'm in for good. Later. Huh. See, he comes across as half sympathetic half the time. It's sort of... It's sort of a weird character. I don't know. Anyway, we know where to go. Let's go there. Let's see if we don't freak out. That's why that was ringing before, by the way. Let me just save before I mess this up. Hello? The moon is a mysterious mistress. Who walks the night with demons of dread. The Lucky Star Motel. Room 2. Don't be long. What do I have in my other eye? Do I have piercings in my other eye or something? I'm lovely. I'll be there. Oh, th don't worry about it. It's the... It's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's see. Where is the lucky star? There it is, the lucky star. We've been here. We've talked to the owner. The owner freaks out a lot. Hopefully not forever, though, but we'll see what I can do about that. Because we need still to visit room two. Where is room two? This is room two. Oh, lovely. Internet cafe key. There was no one waiting for you at the Hotel Lucky Star Motel. Sorry, Hollywood Lucky Star Motel. But you did find a key to the Internet Cafe. That's one. 
Man, this hotel is getting knackered. This guy is going to have uh, some trouble cleaning up this mess. Anyway, let's get out of here. Let's go into the Aspole. Let's go into the Vesuvius. And basically, that's the last three places that we need to go. Apart from the peep show down there. We're going to do that. We're going to go in, these, in this order because of... Well, precisely because we need to also go to the peep show and it's all related. People don't freak out. People don't freak out. Oh Who's this guy? Out of my way, your face. Shut up. Not today. Yeah. Why Lovely does this? Evening. Why does this guy have a katana? Hmm. Oh, that's right. This soundtrack. This song is so. What's the hops, bro? Bland. Not really bland. But, uh, oh, they're not gonna let me pass. Yeah. It's a nice night out, huh? But, like, very, very different from the other songs from the other clubs we've been to. There's a lot of clubs in this game. Well, it's the goth lifestyle. Hypothetical question. Do you think it would be okay to sleep with a producer if he would give you a part in his next movie? No, no, it would not be okay. <laughs> Hollywood. Uh, where do we have people up here? Oh yeah, we do have people up here. Okay. I'm trying to get past people over here, not freak anybody out. It's this guy that I need to talk Good to. Good evening to you. Good evening to you as well. I'll see you later. And you might be. I just might. You. Seriously, who are you? Why don't you ask everyone else in the world? They'd know. Come on, tell me. Ash, there. Go tell your friends so they don't bug me. Oh. <laughs> Do you know anything about a snuff film? Straight, straight off the bat. <laughs> uh, I've never met a celebrity before. Actually... Uh, yeah, I've never. Not, not in this game, anyway. <laughs> I bet. Do you know anything about a snuff film? That's street trash. You want the sin bin. Anything else? It's straightforward. Well, I'm a big fan of yours. <laughs> I bet. What's your problem? The sun's gone down. So? Never mind. I don't like your attitude. Me neither. <laughs> Look, I don't... <laughs> I don't want to hurt you, but if you keep this up... What's the catch? These lines are so weird. Is there something wrong? To say yes would be an understatement. What do you care anyway? I could just do it. Just walk out of here and into a legend. Maybe I live, maybe I don't. What's the difference? You're not making any sense. You didn't see them? See who? Hunters in front, back, inside my club. I try to leave, they'll move on me. So I had to ask myself, if I go out there, am I prepared to die? How many could I take out before the killing stroke, huh? Two? Three? I could just walk out there right now, blaze of glory, the end. And you know what? Knowing that, it doesn't bother me. And I guess the only reason I haven't walked out yet is because I'm trying to figure out why it doesn't bother me. Maybe I can help you. Now, did Isaac send you? You know Isaac? Isaac's a gnarled old tree that wrapped its roots around the city years ago. He's a relic of an age long since past. He thinks he gave me everything I have. But all he gave me was a curse. Oh, so wouldn't Isaac care if something happened to you? It would break Isaac's heart. It's good to know some good would come from my death. So you don't like Isaac? That story would take too long to tell. Suffice it to say, we haven't seen eye to eye on too many things lately. And it's pissed Isaac off to no end. For instance? He kept saying I should keep a low profile. He kept saying I was attracting too much attention to myself. What's wrong with keeping a low profile? You don't know me. I can't sit in an office all day and play Hollywood from the shadows. That's Isaac's thing. I'm an actor. I was an actor. I, I don't have anything anymore except this club and some fame and this curse. 
you don't like being, you know. I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask Isaac to save my life. Maybe I wanted to die. I was having fun, damn it. I was alive. Who the hell gave him the right to deny me that? I can't act anymore. I can't love anymore. All I can do is fade into obscurity. Life sucks, and then you die. And then you undie, and then you die again. To put it prosaically... You mean lyrically. Maybe I can help you. Did Isaac send you? No. What the hell, then, would be your motivation to help me? Well... Money. And I know you've got some. Fine, I've got drawers of the stuff. My life's so goddamn easy because of it. So, how do you get me out of here to cash in? I, I kind of wish I had talked to Isaac before, because you can, he can give you this quest. Um, on second thought, you're on your own. Good luck. Grandpa, will you take me to Space Burger? Space Burger, huh? You know, when I was your age, space was mostly a mystery. We didn't know what was up there. Why, I thought there were little alien kids on Mars that might be watching me. Yeah, I used to make signs for them saying, Hello, Martians! Or, give me a ride on your rocket craft. Of course, I was young and naive thinking Martians could read English. <laughs> Everyone knew Martians communicated telepathically through space operators on their moon base. Billy, what did I tell you about talking to Grandpa? But I want to go to Space Burger. Space Burger? This looks like a job for Commander Mom. Report to the space van. Oh, boy. We can drop Grandpa off at the home on the way there. Of course, you don't see Martians on space probes. <laughs> Everyone knows Martians live in invisible domes. Spaceburger, food for the space age, not old age. 